It's the weekly back-to-back, episode 234 for TCP, preview edition. We just did our reviews, now we get to do our previews. Mm. Uh, 18 matches, APAC finally starts. That's why I'm here to do this one. I wasn't here for the last preview because I don't really care about NA games, quite frankly, with you. We're here for APAC now. I'm like, oh, no, I might oh. I might come on. You know, I'll come on for the APAC games for sure. So, um, I don't know. Is there is there any, any preamble here? Are you the, leaving uh, for the NA games, games then? then? <laughs> huh? are you leaving for the na games then yeah so what will happen is we'll do because we're talking three apac games and three na games so we'll talk about three apac games and i walk away and then you guys send me a message on discord when you're done talking about na and i'll come back Perfect. <laughs> no, it is. No, it is. Uh, no okay but uh yeah apac is starting this week really cool stuff just in my first rehearsal today as well by the way so nice nice actually happening things are things are moving uh, with any luck the quality will be good as well because um it's not the same as the na production uh mm. apac production is handled by billy billy so with any luck it'll be decent i know i'm pretty sure did you guys remember seeing any issues with um the apac matches last year in terms of quality i think they were all good weren't they oh. they were better, i think there was right? maybe some hiccups like at the live events early on but like past that like oh, well, it was fine events. yeah i mean that happens it's normal Live events, schmive so events. Come on. If if uh, if that all happens well in terms of the production, then APAC games might be you might actually get 1080 60, which would be True. pretty nice to look at. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, let's uh let's examine in 4K here. Philadelphia versus Shanghai. First matchup. Opening match of the season for APAC is gonna be Shanghai versus Philly. Right? It's gonna be Carpe versus Fleta. And that's if Carpe even plays. He might, but he might not. I don't know yet. Um Yours truly will be there, casting the opening two matches on the opening day, oh, welcoming yeah. in all the APEC fans again. Um, first of all, I have no idea what Shanghai going to play. Is it going to be Void <laughs> Zarya? Is it is it did Harmon's you know yeah. prophecy come true? Did his foretelling come true? Is it all going to be Zarya? Is it, are we just going to see Fury Zarya versus Void Zarya? Is it going to be Belisaria playing Winston versus Fate Winston? Mm. Um. Is it who are you, Genji? I actually have no idea what to expect out of Shanghai. It's difficult. I'm thinking for Philly, it will probably be the two rookies starting yeah. and maybe mm-hmm. not Carpe. Um, I will probably give Shanghai the benefit of the doubt here and toss them over a 3 1. And the one that they lose is they sub void into play Zarya, and Zarya sucks. Fair. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm of the same mind. I think Shanghai probably is the better caliber team, at least just from you know what we've what we've seen in the past. Granted, you know, contenders is still worth a damn as much as maybe some people will will diminish it. Uh, I'll give I'll give Philly a map. Um, I'll give them a push just because they can get a little scrunky, can get a little dicey. Um, but this is still Shanghai, um, looking quite good. If I had to extrapolate some meta, so three one Shanghai. Be, it'll be map four, wouldn't it? Uh, this week I would guess. Push. Can't give him a push because push is meant for. What if we? Oh, I guess so. Um, Shanghai then, would have to be whatever. Then I'll give him control. The other dicey map could get a little goofy. Could get a little mm. silly. Okay. Okay. Yes, go. I'm still st- uh, stuck on you using scrunky. What is scrunky? Yeah, you don't like scrunky? It's like a mix between like skunky and crummy. It's like scrunky, you know. You, Avril, as a native speaker, you let him get away with that in my, in my, like... I've never heard scrunky before, actually. I've never... Uh, never got, you ever, you ever gotten a little scrunky? Well... Come on. He's let him know, you Must do. Must be the Michigan thing. <laughs> <laughs> Heads down, he's scrunky. I get that. All that scrunkiness is what probably got Trump in presidency, so that's what it is. Uh, yeah. Not wrong. Scrunkiness. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, Shanghai Philly. Well, um, ye, mm, it's not close, bro. <laughs> 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 um, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm thinking how how much I want to say because, like, uh oh, just say it. No, like, uh, it's nothing bad. Oh. It's just like I asked for. Is that no? I think it's kosher to say. I asked for uh, a post match interview, and uh, I was advised, or I was asked if I could rather do the one after the charge um, series. 
Which, fair enough, that's a higher probability that they're going to win, so that makes sense, and it also works be out better for me. So, mm -hmm. no, but, you know, as a professional between the lines reader, I'm like, <laughs> you you don't think this is a 50-50, bro? <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, I, I get it. Hey. I get it. I'm These young people, Rostin, come on. I'm I'm uh, I'm not hating. Um so yeah. I mean, jokes aside, I think that you can't expect to be the favorite against the nah. Shanghai fucking dragons, my dudes. Um I think this is We are predicting games where we haven't seen the teams and like for all we yeah, know they hard. haven't even I'm just going three one because I'm Robin Hood. Feel ya. I'm gonna change my. Can I change my print? I, I, sure. I'm, I'm tempted to have Shanghai. No, I, I won't do it for this one. Um. Okay. Next prediction. Episode 234 is brought to you by Avril Lavista Baby, Battle Crab, Refine Bean, Bronze Bob Bruhelm, Chari, Mission of Picasso, Chris R three four four four, Cash is sixty seven, Lolsh and Pork Shop, Sammy Rex Name, Follow Mel Smooth Nuts in Your Misery. Now that we got, you know, we're done with the preamble of uh, the dragons, which is you know, mm. that's our intro. Now we're going to talk about the real game. Mm. Valiant versus Charge. <clears throat> the APAC toilet bowl. Who cares about... Can I say that I'm very... I'm actually excited to cast the first game yeah. of Valiant. I'm going to regret this. <laughs> I think I will not enjoy casting Valiant for the rest of the season, but I will happily cast the first one yeah. because I get to reintroduce them. I get to talk about No Hill. <laughs> I get to talk about the Valiant a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I, again, if you if you didn't realize it, I'm you know I bring this up all the time, so you should realize. But I am the world's foremost expert on the Los Angeles Valiant. Yeah, it's true. Because no one has casted them more than I have. Mm -hmm. Beyond, well, I mean, Achilles has, but uh, I'm the analyst in the geo. Anyway, uh, <laughs> beyond that, guess what? I have my casting schedule, mm -hmm. and I have, I'm confirming that I will be doing. 14 out of the total 24 Valiant matches this season. There you oh, go. Man. So once again, I will I will continue to be the world's foremost expert on the Los Angeles Valiant. In whose per cereal did you piss? Like, why? Why? Are hey, man, they they might not be bad. Come on, they just have a lot of games, dude. They yeah, have a lot of do. games, and everyone has high cost. Right? Uh, it, yeah. Well, yes, everyone has. No, no. Valiant play more games than everyone else. Everyone else gets a bye <laughs> week, and Valiant keep going. Do no. you cast them no, a I, team? Uh, less I than 12 times? Huh? Do you cast any team less than 12 times? I haven't counted. The only team I checked how many times I count, uh, cast is Valiant. Let's, let's, right. I don't care about any other team. I had to keep the belt. I only... The only <laughs> what did I do last year? I did... You did all of them, didn't you? No, I didn't. No, I didn't do all of them. Um, they did 16 games. I did nine, I think. Mm. Nine out of 16. Maybe it was more than that. It was at least nine. If not more. No. Okay, I can't remember. It was at least nine, if not more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, bruh, I'm tempted to give Valiant this game. I think it's close. I'm, I'm trying to find reasons to, to give Guangzhou a chance here. Despite Farway? Shit. Yeah, Farway will probably be there. Nah, I can't. Choice of one's not going to play. Valiant 3-2. Oh. Ooh. <sighs> I, I am I am charitable. I'm charitable to the, the goofy no hill five AM twelve hour strategy. I already regret, I already regret my choice. <laughs> I'm here for oh, it. Man. I think this one's close. I think Valiant come out and they look identifiable. I think they have a bold style. I pray that that's the case because I don't think they're gonna get a win otherwise. Um but if I again, I'm gonna be a good Bayesian here. I think the charge probably has enough to squeak it over the edge. It should be a double control week if our if I'm guessing right. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna give this charge three two, but it's a it feels like a fifty fifty. Yeah, I don't know. Like whoever wins this wins the gulag. It feels like you know gets gets <laughs> yeah. gets to reap the ploy. The other team is just like out of the round for the rest of the season. Mm -hmm. And we get the apex toilet bowl right off the bat. Yeah, straight away. Man, I don't know. Like there's so little to go on, right? I think yeah, on tough. I think I want to be hyped for the Valiant, but just because like they have this cool story. At the same time, like I feel like we're doing charge kind of dirty. Um, yeah. I am like choice A one not playing. Is that bad when you ha still have Eileen, which is like 
as I try to tell Kenobi, like not a not an S tier or, or maybe not even an A tier DPS. But <laughs> but like it's still A tier, come on. I mean I'm I'm, Problem is, I'm this pretty is sure such he's a big meta. It's such a big meta for choice. Tracer Genji, yeah. I mean that's, that's, that's designed right for up choice. His, yep. I feel like Eileen can uh you know help B BQB make his bed in the morning. That's that's the extent to <laughs> You're doing the man dirty. Uh that's the extent to how much What's your score? Three tool charge. Okay. You know, Four. you realize how I went from Valiant will be mid tier APAC to uh mm -hmm. three tool charge. Yeah. I'm on the I do. I, I jumped the trains, dude. Like <laughs> It's a, that's the other train that's coming. It's a little faster. I'm jumping. Oh. Glad you've seen the light. Okay. What's the light, uh, though? What What did you press, Joe? I said 3 2 charge. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. You're the light seer. I also, the haven't been, I also haven't been high on Valiant since the preseason, but, anyways. I should go charge. I, I should go charge. Because <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think secretly. This mm -hmm. this composition that No Hill spent twelve hours thinking of from five PM to five AM and then magically on the twelfth hour he just had a Eureka moment mm -hmm. is a is a sombra composition. He's like, Oh yeah, I think so. Sombra, <laughs> oh yeah, there's still these sombra yeah. specials on the team. Yes. They gotta play Sombra. That's probably what it is, and it's gonna be fucking shit. Yep. So I wanna change mine to three one charge. <laughs> I'm here for it. Okay. I, I but we but, but we agree that you think the Valiant are playing some goofy sombra stuff because I said the same thing on Twitter. What the fuck else did No Hill figure out? I don't out? know, Sebastian he, shit. Fuck if I know. Figure out that no one else did. Come on. <laughs> oh. They also have a somber oh. one trick, so it makes a little bit more sense. All right, Sol Hangzhou. Yes. God, I want to be spicy. Ooh. Ah, come on. But I think. No, I can't. You're right, I can't. That's That DPS line is too good. It's for sexy. week two. Week two. It's too good. It's too good. Three, three zero. Fuck it. Three zero. Sol. Ooh. Mm. Shit! Shit! Damn! I at least give. I'm giving Spark a map yeah. because I am. The Justice have turned it around. Maybe the Spark can turn it around. Maybe oh, they can God. dent to the blow. Justice of the, East. the Justice of the East turning around. They could do it. That that and if they do it this year, that roster looks pretty good. So I'll give them a map. I'll say three one soul again. It's soul. I don't know that they can do much wrong. The fact that like. There is no question that like they have one meta read that they can play extremely well. Like at least they have that. Whereas Spark is pants on head at times. So Soul for sure three one. It is nuts that I'm going through the possible things that Soul could run, and I'm going. I kind of want profit on Soldier. I kind of want profit on Tracer. I mm -hmm. kind of want profit on Zarya. I kind of want profit on Doom. So <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, I think there's a solid chance that actually like Fit Stalker play and Prophet is on sure. Doom Zarya stuff. Yeah, but then they're playing Doom Zarya, which are both poo heroes. They're both True. shitty heroes. Well, maybe. Yeah, I, I feel like it, it is very odd to me that the Winston region is playing more Zarya. Something is broken in, in, with that, which sort of like hints to me that maybe is, maybe they most know something more about the Zarya comp. I'm not sure. Maybe they also just have better tracer players. Could that be a thing? Could be. Yeah, so don't hate do. that. Like, oh, if you, have, oh. if you have better tracer players, then you play fucking Winston. Tracer yeah. has no. You tracer has no synergy with Zarya. Yeah. Yeah. Don't tell Florida that. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I, I, I for I some reason, argued so. against my own <laughs> arguments. I, I jumbled it. So. There's, I uh, like, uh, at the same time, like, man, that's Smurf, man. That boy can play some, some Winston, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, his monkey good. So I think yeah. there's. Only Soul and I'll just go play Smurf Winston. Come on. I think yeah. uh, what's on. realistically pl uh, happening is they want to play, try some shit out. And I think we're seeing both Smurf and Prophet on Doom throughout this Shut series. Up. Shut up. No. no, ew. Stop. Please. I'm going to one Soul match. as well. And then Jonah comes. Uh, wait the until you see what yeah. the spark are doing. <laughs> I'm terrified. Don't, don't, don't put that omen on me. Yeah, league is gonna come out and play permanent. <sighs> either. That's 
Oh, stop. Architect um, Gonzaria. I already have Kenobi in my DMs for this next match, so let's move to that. Did you do Soul Spark already? I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. Three, I have it 3 1. I think Yiska said 3 1. Yep. Washington, Paris. 3 0. And I know yeah. what's going to happen. Washington will 3 0 Paris, and everyone's going to be, oh, see, you should have kept Naga. Or, <laughs> even if Naga was playing, still 3 0. The one thing I will say, um, I need to, this is, this is like a big, like litmus test for the teams individually for themselves. I need to see Paris return to a base and I, and I pray, I pray that the thesis Lord himself, Jay macaroons, jelly macaroni and cheese puts them back on the Winston light and Washington continues to put bag in the driver's seat to be aggressive. Um, but yeah, it's a three Oh, it's not close next. See, this is I. I don't know if you or if you don't feel the strings in the ether. You know, like sometimes you can't see clearly how the how the you know the tapestry is weaved. And this is exactly the type of game where Paris goes <laughs> two one up, and then just like Washington's just like oh you know fuck it we, we three two this. But then like and then it just puts. Like everyone in this chapel perilous where it's like, oh my god, what what should I believe? Does Washington suck? Is actually Paris not that good? And in essence, it means nothing, but we get to shit talk a little bit mm -hmm. more on Reddit. So <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like this is, you know what? I'm a commit to this tomfoolery and going three to justice. <laughs> You're on crazy pills. <laughs> what are you on? All right, whatever. Um, Everyone's got a plan until decay pulse bombs your face. <laughs> True, exactly. New York, Florida. <sighs> Can Kooky cook up some crack? more echo bullshit? He's not going to. He, he's not even going to have to cook it up. I feel like Florida's just going to give him a map. Am right, I wrong in feeling one. that way? Florida three that's, one, then. Yeah, Florida three that's how one. I feel. I'm it's like level. I'm on that level. Florida should be three owing this. In in every world, Florida should be three owing know. this, but we live in the universe that they Florida keep real, doing goofy shit. Little base take, you yeah. know, for this. Okay. New York, New York pull out Vulcan, they three zero Florida. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that we can't say that with a straight face, like, says a lot. Why why was I on twitter.com today? Looked at NYXL's Twitter, congratulated Vulcans <laughs> to his birthday and just felt dirty. Like why is that? It a does thing? feel really gross. Is, I don't know. This he is, is not playing, guys. I'm sorry, NYXL fans. There's a better chance that your mayor who is an honorary member no, 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 plays no, no, no. before why, Vulcan does. Why okay. Are you sorry? Why are you apologizing to them like you expect them to want him to play? I think like, something they do. Who the fuck? I Show don't me a know. New York fan that Vulcan should play. I think they're just. Play. I think they're just so desperate. They're just like try anything at this point, man. Let's try to do that because then Kuki's gonna roll out the Lucio. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me that wouldn't be banter though. Come on. I I feel like that in like so has comeback potential. It's not this match though. I am also going three one. Yeah. Florida. What match is it then? New York versus Vancouver, I guess. <laughs> Uh, Paris. Maybe that versus Paris. <laughs> oh, actually, they already they played, played last week. No? Oh yeah. No, yeah, oh, they played Vancouver. Oh, yeah, they're done. It's already happened. All right, Dallas, Toronto. Ooh, this one's a little bit more spicy, dude. Fuck. This one's good. I'm gonna be spicy here. Ooh. I'm gonna go Ooh. three one Toronto because I. Oh my god. I'm. I'm not. I know what people are gonna say. Oh, but Avril, you put Dallas number one. Yeah, I know, but I'm being converted, dude. Toronto have been looking so good. Mm. Um, Chiron Twilight is so fucking insane. I know Fielder is good too. I know Chia is good, but I'm not a fan of these Zarya comps. Can I be real? Okay. I feel like that very nearly, nearly lost to Gladiators, which probably should have been a loss. Mm. And Fuel just constantly forcing Zarya. Look, if they change comps, maybe it'll be different, but. He's about to hate this job very much, casting but, the Zarya region. But, <laughs> but, We'll see, bro, we'll see. Bro, Muse is fucking right now. Muse is so he good. He is, he is looking fantastic. He is so good. And and Dallas keep forcing Zarya. No, no. Muse will clean that shit up. 
it's possible. It is certainly possible. I hope Dallas doesn't change as much as I am also a little shaky on the Zarya ground. I think it is a little bit more difficult to pull off. The like the uh, ease of execution is a lot higher. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. Um, but I think that's going to throw Toronto a big curveball. I I agree. A lot of their players look fantastic, but it's in their like scrim architecture that they're they're facing so unless the Saria stuff has really gotten out there at like a pretty high level i wonder how much toronto has had to play against it so i wonder how much they're actually going to play into dallas here um i'm gonna give this 3-1 dallas because i am more charitable to what i've seen thus far um oh, the amount of shit you get to run in the preseason you gotta double down you can't be you can't no. be now <clears throat> this is this is the sign of of growth. This is the sign of you know clemency. I have liked what I've seen out of Toronto thus far, but uh, I think Dallas is just a, a different side of a coin. I think this is going to be a bad matchup for Toronto. I think Toronto still makes the tournament and could punch punch pretty deep, but I think this is going to throw them a curveball, and I don't think they're going to have enough time to adapt. So I'm going to say three one Dallas. Yeah, now I'm hurting because. I was already like attacked by Tasmo for predicting uh, Glads, like when when we did the post match interview. Yeah, but my rationale but was that you need to uh, that that Dallas needs to go fifty uh, percent in stage one mm -hmm. in order to win it. Mm -hmm. So the losses have to come from somewhere. <laughs> At the same time, Ooh. it's not going to be Toronto. Oh. Because that would be too convenient. I think this is the this is the match where Finale is just like found out to be mortal because his his stats looked pretty nutty. Um, yeah, when you beat up on Paris and you you smurf on Houston, who can't help but play Doomfist, then yeah, of course. I will like also it. say like stats right now are so useless; it's actually insane. Um, for Overwatch two stuff, mm -hmm. I feel like. Nah, I think Dallas found themselves. I think this is a 3 1 Dallas. Yeah. Bong Jo Chung Du. I'm a believer. Uh oh. I'm a believer. What? I believe. It's believing. I mean, I believe. come on. <laughs> uh... What are you Even thinking about? Jim even, even I'm thinking, how hard can Jim Ru throw? Yes, he can play Sombra. He <laughs> <laughs> hey, could oh, play Sombra. It's please true. Please don't fucking say that. I'm getting tilted. It's gonna be a three-two. They win because Leave deadlifts all five mm. maps. He pushes uh, them over the line. But, you know, the rest of Chengdu try their very hardest to throw the game. But Leave is just too good to lose. All high. Three-two Chengdu. How are okay? What are you on that you think this goes charges way? What I'm saying three zero, zero hunters. Oh, and you think like, three? This oh, is not going okay. to be remotely close. Somebody okay. I was I was of that at the start of the season, and then they shed a lot of players, and internally, I have to imagine that shit it, can't be good. I mean, what's going to happen? I can okay. tell you what's going to happen right now. I I read up that recent interview um from uh, Fei Yas Twitter. Yeah. She she's translated some interviews from the Chinese teams. The APAC teams, and um, they have one coach now in Chengdu. Mm -hmm. And what what I read from the interview was like, oh yeah, so the reason we kept Daisy instead of Aprita is because um, well, Leaf can cover Aprita's hero pool, but uh, you know what we really need right now is is Daisy's hero pool. I'm like, what the fuck do you mean? Is that are you one of the Zarya? You are. You're one of the fucking mm -hmm. Zarya teams, aren't you, motherfucker? So they're <laughs> gonna play Zarya. They're gonna play Daisy Zarya with. Jim Mu Sombra and they're gonna throw and that's and that's oh, why it's gonna be close. Don't tell me that. I was hoping they were gonna do some goofy Farah shit and just throw them in there, give them the bubbles. Um, I, yeah, I hope that's not a justification <laughs> because like if that's a justification, you should have put it's Leaf not. on Zarya and like had a Prita and fucking Jim Mu figure it out. <laughs> Surely is the better solution for you. See, there, there is a prevailing, there is a prevailing narrative that somehow, some way, we will see leave on Doomfist, which I think is the most head-ass backwards throw I've ever seen. That would be a throw. I'd be mad. That is a throw. That is the biggest throw I think we've will ever see strategically. But <sighs> hey, 
uh if it works it works i don't think it's gonna work uh but i will say um, i'm more charitable to what avril's talking about i think leave wills them across the line uh but it's close i don't think uh this first match is going to be as cleanly as we may expect but hopefully this builds some confidence three two hunters Next game, uh, Hangzhou 3 0 Shanghai. Any comments? Uh, hey, fuck. You know what happened last year? I can't bet that, but I'm glad you're brave enough to. I'm saying Shanghai 3 0. Yeah, no. I, I think there's a chance that some weird shit happens in that match again, but like I don't want to live in that reality, so I'm just going 3 0 Shanghai. Yeah, they have to, they have to like cheese the shit out of them. Yeah. Um, so apparently Shanghai are having some like potential internet issues. They're actually in Shanghai right now, which is really fucked up if you don't if you know what's happening in Shanghai. Right. Um and um shy smurfing and um Shanghai gets tilted and, and then they lose three zero. Same as they did last year. It's tradition, baby. Hey, look it, if Dallas if Dallas keep losing the opening games, it's true, it's true. There's no reason wrong. Shanghai don't keep losing their second games after mm-hmm. the opening. Yep. So fuck it. Nowhere near as base as my Valiant 3-0 Soul. No, okay, I'm not going <laughs> to uh, This will be Soul 3-0. Yeah, that's a, that's a 3-0. That's a next. 3 on a handshake. It's a quick one to end the day or the morning, depending on where you are. <clears throat> I seriously think Shanghai could lose the opening game versus Philly due to like problems like what I'm talking about because they're physically in Shanghai. Possible. Apparently, they're having internet issues. It's possible, yeah. I'm not mad at um, that. They, they're probably stressed out because of the Shanghai situation. Mm. Uh, Shanghai... Also, were late to scrims compared to every other team in APAC. Mm. They literally started two weeks late in scrims because of quarantine. Sure. Just, um, there's just a lot of there's just a lot of potential issues. I know it's Shanghai, but you know, yeah. I don't know. I I, I think I think it's not going to be as smooth of a run as you oh, expect. Oh, for sure. At the game no. makes sense. So I'm 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 still yeah. debating that Philly Shanghai game. I think Philly got a real shot. Mm. Anyway, Valiant Soul. Who hasn't done Valiant Soul? Yes, guy. Uh, three zero so. Okay. At this point, this is where this is Ready? where no hill. This is where no hills. Like, all right, I figured it out, guys. We're not gonna play somber anymore. But you know, first he has to get three zero by soul. Yes. Houston, London. Oh. You you ready for this one, boys? Shut Go up. On. You ready? Oh, shut the. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. He's actually gonna go. There. I am predicting the London Spitfire to. Blueprint the Houston Outlaws. It has been written into the ether. They oh, have the blueprint. The they also have the cheese, right? You're copying I think my the whole cheese fucking plays flow. Well in I think word for word, they... bar for bar. <laughs> 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 Who is that soldier boy? Am I remembering that right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, yeah. no, I think I think London is on a roll. I think they have the confidence. I think that, you know, hottie off paying whatever you want to, you know, mandate like this team genuinely looks good. Houston has been figured out for weeks now. Houston is very, very winnable. This this game as as goofy as this sounds, you you time travel back last year and you you try to pred this. You're burned at the stake as a witch. I think this is this is very no, no, winnable that's for London. still time. happening. You're still getting <laughs> sick. <laughs> no, I, I in what I don't know. I I think Houston is just too locked into this Doomfist stuff. It's probably their best look, but like with Tracer pushing into Bro, they just relevance. One against Mayhem. <laughs> what are you on about? Yeah, when Mayhem picks Sombra. Oh, oh stop. This is I think You're this is this is close. For a team that's playing Reinhardt because her <laughs> funny hero is fun. Yeah, but the funny hero is fun into the only hero that Houston can play. Yeah, I think it beats it. And uh, they've also shown another look, and it wasn't that bad. Fortunate, and it was Boston. Fortunately, we meet each other every week, so I get to gloat next week. Yes, if 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 this is wrong, then hey, I'll swing and I'll miss, and I'll hold that L. But if I'm right, you best believe. Now, I, I you are also. I know you're a little snitch, and I'm getting at it on Discord again <laughs> because you. That wasn't me, bro. You hundred percent snitched me. to Doki. They're 100%. they're in my DMs like lambasting me, and then they're like, "I'm gonna get Yiska," and I'm like, "Hey, <laughs> you know, dude, you gotta do." <laughs> you absolute snitch! Don't even. Oh my god! Bring it up with them. That's all I'll say. Um. So. Yeah. I'm going to give them a map because I'm a nice guy. Uh, 
<laughs> That's a three one use. Come on, Avril. See the light. Oh, you guys. Are you bold? I just, are you guys forgetting oh, no. details? Oh my god. Why are you dressing up? I'm scared. Do I have Listen, to put a head on or something? Do you wanna know do you wanna know what Doom's best matchup is into? Ryan. Oh. Doom might suck versus a lot of things right now, but one thing he does not suck into is Ryan. He fucking wrecks Ryan. Mm -hmm. So that's a positive matchup right out the gate for Houston. Yeah. Secondly, Pelican Echo. Echo fucking destroys Ryan. Mm -hmm. If you play Ryan into Houston, you're going to have a bad time because Houston's exact team comp and play style is designed to fuck teams playing Ryan. Mm -hmm. It just so happens no one's been playing Ryan because only London play Ryan and Houston haven't played London yet. Um, Houston have better supports. Houston have better DPS. Uh, okay, Shax will play Tracer, but what are you going to do? Sh Tracer Ryan? Is that a composition now? Is, are you joking? Like, it's not a comp. Is that really what you're going to do? So either Hardy comes out on the Winston, yep. and London have figured out Winston Dive, which they haven't fucking done, or barely, or they got to play Poco Zarya, which is just like... No, Jesus, please. That's a throw. Yes, he has to... So, Sorry, keep going. So my final verdict is, based on all that information, I'm going London 3-0. Uh, because Dante's got COVID and he won't play, so he won't play the Doom, and therefore Piggy will throw. That's, Let's go! That is the point. That's Okay, that's the one thing that can happen. That But Houston needs to do that anyway. Actually, COVID is a master strategy. decision. <laughs> but... By nestling, nesting in Dante, so this team finally gets off the fucking Doomfist. Oh my god. COVID this, is, this is probably the second time he's gotten COVID, right? Like, he got that, like, last year. With and he's getting a third he, time, he, like, next week, if they're no, playing no, Doom no, again. Poor guy. The testicular torsion is what he got last year. Oh, that's right, that's right. I thought that, like, they were, like, almost, like, case zero in 2020, no? Like, what, didn't, like, Dream come back from, like, the homestand? Like, bro, like, we're all, like, deathly ill. <laughs> I mean, I mean, for all I know, if if they like, if Dante pulled some shit again, like God is just going to unleash, unleash locust in order to get him off. <laughs> <laughs> I understand going to that Houston game is very yeah. likely to get COVID. Yeah, probably. Because you're in a live event in Texas. Mm. I no. mean, it's, I'd be surprised if there weren't. You know, probably a shitload of people got COVID anyway. Yeah. Um. So if Dante plays Houston three zero. If Dante doesn't play London three zero, I ain't giving any anything in between. Wow, I, I think because I seriously think I seriously think the Doom composition fucks London unbelievably hard, but they have to have Dante there to play, and if he doesn't play, then they can't do it at all. I think there's and a Peggy's world. Just saying it. Yeah, there's a world where they wake up and go like, "Oh yeah, our well, Doom shit isn't working." Dante plays, but DPS, and then I feel what, like they could work. He plays. He plays Winston. what? Sorry. No. Yeah. Pigs don't fly. Come on. <laughs> Yeah. Gladiators versus Shock. Ooh. Mm. <sighs> this one should be good, but I'm scared of it not being very good. I'm a be properer. I'm a be properer. Um <laughs> I'm a believer and a be properer. Um mm, Luge versus Reiner. Both had pretty good Winston performances. Luge unlikely would need to swap to anything else. You can just one trick the Winston and be fine. Mm -hmm. And is God tier currently, but Shu's also really good. Yeah, Shu is Shu. How much do I trust Kevster? The you know what? I'm gonna do it for the storyline. Everyone's like, yeah, but proper hasn't played against the best players yet. Nah, you're gonna see proper do some shit. If proper, if proper fucks Kevster here. The planets have a lot, you know, it's complete. It is fucking mm -hmm. complete. It's going to happen. It's coming home. Shock got this one 3-1. That's where I'm headed to. I, as much as I thought Gladiators were the better team over the Dallas Fuel, I think they both play a very similar style. I think I like San Francisco's slightly more measured approach. I think Glads can get a little ahead of themselves. So you look at some of those lighter games against Dallas and... Shit's going a little sideways. I think Shock's a little bit better than that. Um, and yeah, I think that this is the match that everybody's been waiting for for San Francisco to like really be tested because I think Houston has been a little bit uh, juiced in terms of where we thought they were, which may pan out in the long run. But as of right now, they seem 
a little one dimensional. So this is shock really being tested, but still getting across the line and in, in comfortable fashion. I'll say three one shock. Ah, man. This is. Like on one hand, I feel like Glatz was the better team. So. Oh man, this is. This, it feels like this is this is everyday bro for Glads. Like every time you think like they should be beating the big dogs, and sometimes they do, but like most of the time they have everything to be like a top tier team, and then like they fall just short of it. I also think the shock actually looked like the best team uh, that we've seen so far. So I think you gotta give it to Shock. Um. But I wouldn't. Uh, this is non push week, right? Mm. Control, yeah, double control. <laughs> nah, that's a that's a three one shock. And Dante has COVID. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no three to three one shock. Yeah, I think Shock are the best team in NA right now. Legit. It's looking like it. It is looking like it. I, I truly do think that. Hmm. All right. How about this next one? What's the next one? Tro oh, okay. Yeah, I'll give that 3 0 Toronto. Not even Joe can deny Toronto this time. 3 0 Toronto. <laughs> yeah, it's a 3 0. I'm tired of Boston already. Hmm. <sighs> I liked what I saw out of them at, at first, and I was like, oh, yeah, maybe they can do... Oh, no, we're triple main tank rotating and doing all kinds of weird DPS subs. Where the hell is Striker? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Thanks, though. Three yeah. By the way, people are like, where is Striker? Isn't this... We're playing Tracer, no Striker. Okay, the reason why Valentine's playing Tracer is the same fucking reason Nero's playing Tracer, because you need your Tracer player to also be your Genji player. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. But you know what I'm waiting for? I'm waiting for the one team to say, fuck it. We're not going to play any Genji. We're going to play full-time Tracer. Strike yes. you in. Yeah. Yeah. That could be Boston. Good. It, it should be Boston. Game. But yeah. I don't know. Ah, man. I feel like Toronto is definitely going to lose one of those matches. And it's going to That'd fucking boom, boom us. But uh, it would be also very Toronto to just lose this one, man. But no, you got to go 3-0 from everything mm. that... Uh, we've seen so far. I think that's mm. the play. <sighs> it's not been good. Andre Philly. Philly go 3 0. M in three, M in three pulls out the deck and he just slaps <sighs> Andre. He's too good to lose. Zest. This is. Shit. They double team that shit. Hey, I, I think they win, right? 100%. I think they win. I think this is one that I'm going to have to wait and see, like, off the first two days, what charge look like. Uh, because it could very well be a 3-0, but as like preliminary testing, you know, looking into the tea leaves, I'm guessing this is going to be a little bit more messy, especially for the first week in Apex. So I'll say this is 3-1 Philly. Um, Charge might just catch him looking and sneak at a map. But if they really look poo the first two days, then yeah, it could be a 3-0. Yeah, I got to I got to I gotta believe that, that the Fusion have the ability to 3-0. I think from the outdated scrim bucks that I got, which are now three, four weeks old, I think it should not be remotely close. Uh, I'm going also 3-0, Philly. Ooh. Um, Sol Chung Do. All right, fuck, hear me out. Mm. Oh, shit. Fuck! I hold me back from going Chengdu. Hold me back. They're, I will. They can't. They can't. Didn't you Seoul just go won. charge against Chengdu, and now Chengdu is going to win against Seoul? I surrender to Chengdu. Yeah, but hear me out. Chengdu, for some mm. reason, why? Well, not for some reason. I know why, but <laughs> Chengdu, for a reason. Yeah. Level the fuck up versus Soul. They refuse to lose to Soul. Like And that very Reeve, well may be. Reeve, who is on leave from um the the fucking Soul realm, yeah. comes into planet Earth 
and he goes Super Saiyan 3, knowing he's only got 10 minutes to do this on Earth, but he does it anyway, <laughs> just to defeat Margin Soul. He does it. So, you know, none of the Zoomers got the reference, because you're too fucking young. No. Right? Fuck you. Um, Chengdu, Cheng, yeah, leave, 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 leave refuses to lose to profit, and he will just simply win. So therefore, it's going to be Soul 3-1, because I don't think Chengdu are good enough to beat them. <laughs> I, I'm going to give Chengdu a little bit more credit here, and this is another one. Again, we're talking about uh, Sunday, I believe, these matches, um, and this could change for me depending on what Chengdu look like. I'm very comfortable in Soul winning. It just depends on by what margins. I have this currently at 3-2 Soul, um, just because I'm very interested to see what the hell Chengdu is actually running out with. These these interviews have got me very suspicious as to what's going on there and what that even looks like. Whereas Seoul seems to be a whole lot more comfortable on whatever meta school is, is you know, in class in APAC. Um, so this should be a comfortable win for Seoul. It just depends by how much. I'm already regretting my choice. I feel like this one bites me in the ass really hard. Like it I could. choose Seoul. It could. And then Chung do come and they do exactly what I say, but I just didn't have faith. <laughs> and I'm sitting there shaking my fist like, I knew it, I knew it. But I just didn't I just didn't print them, you know? Mm. This is like telling all your friends that in like nineteen ninety nine that Amazon is going to be a great company right, and yeah. then never putting the money up. <laughs> <laughs> um God. Nah, this is this is surely a 3-1 soul. The team is just better. It yeah. really is. It is. Yeah. Especially if Chengdu are doing any shenanigans with Daisy. Yeah. I swear by this stage they should have learned that, you know, Gaga and Winston is the answer. Should so who be. Knows? Should be. Hangzhou Valiant. This feels winnable for Valiant, but I still <sighs> don't trust them. I don't trust them as far as I can throw them. This is the Shy versus the Year battle. It's interesting. Sure, yeah. God, Shy versus the Year, huh? Mm. Too bad the rest I... of the teams don't stack up, but... Right. <laughs> nah, how much do you trust Sash? And the problem is... No, zero. No Hill is no smoking the crack pipe, and he's going to play permanent Zarya because of Sash. Probably. And that's not going to go well for a team that like just mechanically can't play at uh, that level. I'll, I'll give, I'll give, you know what? No, I'm, I'm not going to do that because I had Hangzhou three or Shanghai. I'm going to have them also three or Valiant. Hangzhou season, baby. Let's go. <laughs> I'm hoping so. Hopefully that builds some confidence. I have this currently at a three, one again, preliminary that could very well change, especially if no Hills out here on that Sombra tip, you best believe I'm, retweeting my fucking get that garbage out of here tweet i think that's fucking hilarious personally um yeah uh it depends on what valiant look like what kind of goof ballery they're up to but this should be a comfortable spark win regardless okay let me paint you, paint you a picture you're sitting there in the middle of the night Shitters. in na and in this hypothetical scenario you see the tweet come out from the LA Valiant about the starting lineup. And you see this is a fictional scenario because actually nobody's in charge of the Valiant Twitter and we'd get the tweet of the match of who's actually playing in it sometime in September. Yeah. Now, you see the tweet. It's Sashin. But the first You're DPS okay. that you yeah. see is Hacker. <laughs> yes. You hate your life. If for having if they even... play Sombra, now, painting this picture now when I painted that picture yeah. in this fucking game, but versus Guangzhou, bro, I'm not even convinced I would put Hacker on it even if I'm playing Sombra. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm still picking D or some shit. I don't know what to like. I don't know. This is, this is hopefully he is like sitting a... on the bench. Like, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> I hope this is just like it's a paid buddy. Becky. It's Hacker Becky. They're playing Genji Sombra. That's the comp. Oof. Bro. And D is sitting there. D is sitting there just shaking. You know, he's convulsing. He he is he's just like his his body is reacting negatively to this <laughs> visual just you know, the visual presence of the Sombra Genji composition. What? With the with the Zarya, by the way. Has D won a game yet? In which he played? In your watch so. I, think so. I, I genuinely don't know. I'm gonna check with. I'm gonna ask 
the stats people at Overwatch League right now? Yeah, do you need that for free? That, that's really a great. I, I don't think so. If I'm going to be completely honest, and I could be wrong in that, let me double check exactly what teams he's been on. Because I think he would have won a game, but he wouldn't have been playing in it, if that makes sense. Like he was on the team that won, but didn't play. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's happened. But no, I guess he wouldn't have been because he went to CC, no? Yeah, no. Yeah, so he wouldn't. Did he leave after season one? I forgot. Uh, no, no, he was, he was in 2020. Bit. Yeah, yeah, he was in there. So they actually started winning 2020, but I'm pretty sure yeah. he didn't play any of the games. No, he didn't play. I am confident in remembering that. Imagine if he doesn't, doesn't play a single game this season. <laughs> Well, I'm just coming up with it. I don't think that'll happen. I think Dia for this team is kind of like, yeah, the no, guy. He's right? the star player. And yeah. I think No Hill, No Hill and Dia's relationship is is to the stage where like, yeah, there's no way Dia is pretty much ever benched. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah I think this is a three-one spark. You think the uh, Sombra wins the map? Interesting. Yeah, you get one. Vancouver, Atlanta. Now here's the thing: Atlanta have been heavily exposed. The Doom, Vancouver, though, it ain't working out. Vancouver know what to do now. They have the strategies. They saw the blueprint. They've downloaded. They looked at Washington. They said, "Thank you very much. We will now apply the same strategy with decay." On oh wait, we don't have decay. Okay, well Atlanta three zero then. <laughs> Bro, I th I don't know what people are smoking, but this is very clearly the worst team in the Overwatch League right now. It's not Paris, man. Well, people just want to hate Paris. Yeah, I think that makes sense. It's yeah. the same. It's the same mentality as people like. No, I, how could you put Atlanta in the top five? They're clearly like a middle table team, forgetting that they came fucking second in the Overwatch League last year. I think people are saying this are just like farming lol w's in chat is that what's happening oh they just they they dislike a team for reasons other than their performance and right. they want to push that dislike of their team into a negative result even right. though the two things don't correlate co correlate at all no. you know yeah no i think the situation in vancouver is just very bad and this is going to be maybe a new record because if there's one thing that Atlanta Rain does well is stomping scrubs into the ground, spawn camping, sure. this will be gnarly, dude. <laughs> like this, this is going to be. It. Spire's tracer is reasonable. Yeah. What? I don't know. Yeah, no, this is going to be nuts. That's about it. Yeah. No, it's three zero. Easiest three zero of my life, actually. Yeah. Is it because there's Dallas versus Paris next? Huh. Who hasn't done Vancouver Atlanta yet? Joe, do 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 that. Oh, it's this. it's three zero. I mean, okay, now do Dallas Paris. It's three zero. Come on. <laughs> this is there's a p pity map in there. No, there's <laughs> not. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Paris uh, Paris needs to regroup and rally for next stage. Uh, there's. It's tough. They, I think their schedule also is. Dude, I can't wait hell. for all the people to say like, "Oh, dude, if Get Maze was here, they would three zero the Dallas Fuel." Mm. Yeah, Man, that's, that's the difference, right there. The, the, <laughs> the thing is, like three zero Overwatch is actually. It feels like less frequent than last season. Like last season, when you felt like, "Could this be a three zero?" You should probably always say that yes, because little known fact, but like fifty percent <laughs> of all uh, results are three zeros. Fifty percent. Right. So, in order to not be wrong, even though I like the meme value here, I'm go going 3-0 Dallas. But there's a pity map in no. there. This is, this, is rough. this is too rough for Paris. It's going to be 3-0 again. A problem yeah. is, like, the schedule is just... Paris, Dallas is just huge skill uh, discrepancy here. Disparity works as well, actually. Um, it's going to be a rough two games for Paris. Mm. You know, um, and and people will use this as an excuse to shit on the org and say they should have kept Naga or they should have done this or they should have done that. But realistically, wouldn't have changed a fucking thing. Doesn't matter if Naga's here. 
Doesn't matter if get doesn't matter if get amazes here. Doesn't matter what whatever scenario, multiverse, multiversal <laughs> scenario that people want to cook up. None of it matters. It's going to be a three zero no matter what. In before Dallas choke a map, and it's actually a three one, and people will try and come at me with that. Yeah, but you know, there's a pity it. map in there. I'll cop it. I'll cop it. <laughs> you also Avril said it was a three zero, but Paris won a map. Oh. You also have yeah. a three zero, right, Joe? Yeah, it's just a three zero. Like, yeah, could Dallas feel Biff and just like spaghetti a map to Paris? Yeah, a hundred percent. Is that something I'm gonna bet on? No. Right. Uh, I want to give Boston. I actually want to give Boston that because the thing is, yep. I think this is where they figure out that striker is the answer. Striker trace is the answer, and they do the striker versus decay tracer battle. But then they realize, and all the fans realize, hang on a minute, the storyline of tra- striker being the best trace in the world hasn't been true for about a year and a half now. Based. So based. So Washington three zero. Actually based. <laughs> And the K pilled. Um, <laughs> 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 nah, the K is nutty, dude. Like, I, I'm not sure if you guys uh, re- uh, like saw it, but I got on a hill on like Joe's article because oh, yeah? Joe wrote an article saying like the uh, K was kind of forgotten, and then it's like whack article. Uh, who th- forgot about the K? And then I'm arguing with Justice fans that. Like the K was a top five tracer last year, and like mm-hmm. saying it that isn't the case is underrating the K, and it's like no, work out to come. It's funny. It's it's hilarious that Justice. Like I specifically talk to Justice fans at the end, where I'm like, look, like just because you haven't forgotten him doesn't mean the league has. The league saw them play last year, and they look like ass. Yeah. But statistically, he overperforms every year, which is nuts. Who? 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 Decay. Decay. Right. Every every season that we've been able to pull statistics for, like he is a like that. top performer. I was that. One hundred percent related stat, by the way. So <laughs> this is how fast the Overwatch League uh, stats department go back to me. So mm-hmm. apparently, Dia played one map, Anubis against Houston in Stage Two, Week Three of Twenty Nineteen. They drew the map. Shanghai still won the series 3-0. Hmm. That counts. I guess. So he's, 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 he's never won, won a map on stage, though. So he <laughs> no. hasn't won he hasn't won a map. No. In which he, he has won a series with his team, sure. I yes. guess. Yeah. He's never Jenny. won a map in which he won the match. <laughs> Directly <one>. contributed. <laughs> yeah. Huh? It was, sorry, what? I mean he has won a map, right? He just hasn't won a match in which a map. Uh, because like it, okay, he, Shanghai he, was an S he, he he has not won a map in a series where then the team also won yes, the match. Yes, yes, technically. Yeah, but I feel like at that stage you're fucking splitting hairs. So yeah. I'm I'm happy to just award him with the dub here. He has he has never contributed to a win because a yeah, draw is not also, contribution. He drew. I was but... gonna say, well, he also hasn't contributed a loss, but then I realized that's, that's definitely false. That's definitely <laughs> false. Uh, but in that series, he didn't contribute to a loss because he only mm, drew. Right. True. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so Washington so anyway, Justice, Boston okay, Uprising. Anyway, Decay is much better than Striker, is what we're saying. True. Oh, I, I love, people, people, I love that this will using, cause a reaction, bro. Oh, I love people it. People using... Yeah, what, what the fuck do they think? They're using storylines fucking two years old now. Yeah. I'm increasing the amount of time every time I say they're using storylines three years old now. Next, they'll be telling me Ryu J. Hong is still the best anime in the world. Like, wake the fuck up. What year are you thinking you live in? Yeah. Are you still in a coma? Best a player, even. Christ, people are like, oh, I remember this coming into the league. Trace the world's like, bro, is this 2018? Like, yeah, wake no. the fuck up. Yeah. No, thanks. He's, he's good, but I don't know if he's even top five. That remains to be seen because Boston won't play him. Um, yeah, I'll give Boston a map just because I'm still very skittish on justice. If I see them throttle the Paris Eternal like they should, maybe this changes to a 3 0, but I'll give Boston some goofy, scrunky map. I don't know. Mag could forget his W key. Once again, I am the person who pedals 3 0s the hardest, and Yiska's the person who pedals 3 1s the hardest. It's true. It's not wrong. Yeah, I'm pedaling a 3 (laughs) 1. You gotta be, you gotta be more willing to get the three O's in there. Yeah, I got a lot it. more three O's. I have to a lot of three O's in here. Yeah, yeah, um, no wrong. All right, now let's cover the twenty games in week four. 
Oh, um, Jesus. All right, that's probably where we're going to yeah. um, wrap it up. Yeah. Wow, we speed so, ran these. Three. I'm proud of us. I know. Yeah. I feel like we actually gave each of them like a decent amount of time as well. Like, we mm-hmm. didn't even we didn't even fuck her well. Fucked around a little bit. We did fuck around a little bit. Um fucked around so and found if you out. Find out. Exactly. If you want to find out how these games are actually gonna go, check out the live broadcast yes. of the games this upcoming week and you can fuck around and find out how the games are gonna go. <laughs> then we'll review them next week to find out how awfully right or wrong we were. And a few of these bids are probably gonna come back to the bite our respective asses, but I'm ready for it. Because I don't uh who knows? Who knows? Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. 234. Wrapped up, done and dust. We'll see you next week for 235. Thank you so much. Tune into APAC opening week. It's going to be glorious. We'll see you there. Goodbye. Bye. Boop.